I mean, I'm trying to be a minimalist, but you try packing for a 10 month old. Hi everyone, Marion here. I'm back today with a new video, and this one is going to be Pack With Me For Vacation. If you're new to my channel, welcome! I do videos about motherhood, Jewish life, cleaning, organizing, and all things like that. So definitely subscribe if you want to see more content like that. Okay, so let's get into it. Me and my family are going away for three nights and four days, and this is what I'm going to pack for my 10-month-old son. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of everything I got here, and then we'll speed it up for the actual packing. Okay, so first off, on the airplane, traveling with a 10-month-old is really tough because they're not going to sit and play with an iPad, so I try to bring toys and snacks to keep them entertained. Then I always make sure to carry the most essential things with me on the airplane, and I keep them in his little backpack and matching little pack. This is focusing. Okay, so in this pouch, I've got... This little plastic bag, it's actually a um, nursing milk bag, but I really like that because it's really obvious to me like, okay, this is for Max, remember to take this. I always keep Aquaphor, um, diaper rash cream, and Tylenol. I want to make sure I always have these three, three things with me because they're the most important. And then on the plane, I will bring with my thermometer. I take it everywhere when I'm traveling because it's really important to know if your baby has a fever. And I don't want it to get lost or broken in the suitcase, so I bring it with me. And then the last thing I have are these dry cloths, which I get on Amazon. They're perfect for all sorts of messes. They're kind of like really thick paper towels. I highly recommend them. I will link them in the description along with most of the stuff you see here. Okay. And in his backpack, I'll keep toys, snacks, change of clothes, all things like that. Um, I love the easy peasy mat for him to eat off of and this, um, mini twist bib and then just like the Ziploc bags and things like that. I also always bring his sippy cup. This is the Munchkin 360 which I love because it doesn't spill. And then just some blankets, change of clothes, and a long sleeve top because airplanes can get really cold. Toys of course. Okay, then for diapers and messes on the airplane, I use the Skip Hop Changing Station. It's got wipes, diapers, and a changing pad all right there. It's a little big for my like everyday diaper bag, but I love it for the airplane. And then I've got this bag, which is a wet, dry bag. Oh my gosh, the monitor. Okay, I'm back. Then this is a wet, dry bag, so you can put like any dirty clothes or anything in it, and it won't make the rest of your stuff dirty. Okay, on to what's going in the suitcase. First off is this toiletry bag. This is actually um, one from Flower Beauty, which is Drew Barrymore's company. I love it because it's got two sides. So this side will be my stuff when I get a chance to pack it. And this is my son's stuff. I've got the BB Gannick sunscreen and insect repellent, and then some Honest Lotion and his body wash. So that's all his stuff ready to go. Then, diapers. So many diapers. I've got daytime diapers, nighttime diapers, swim diapers, and I even ordered more diapers from Amazon. I'll be arriving when we get there. Babies go through a lot of diapers. Okay, then I separate all his clothes into piles to make sure I have enough of what I need. PJs, tops and onesies, a sweater, and pants. Then, of course, I've got our swim stuff because we're going to the beach and I just have to show you guys these little trunks. Aren't they so cute? Oh, and of course, you know he's going to rock his baby eaters while we're there. Okay, then the last thing I make sure to bring are blankets and his towel. I use the Eden and Anai blankets. We got them when he was born. I have a ton of them. I love them. I use them for absolutely everything. And this is also by Aiden and I. It's a hooded towel. I do bring with his towel because... Bed because bath time is part of bedtime, so I just want to keep that ritual as similar as possible. Okay, then tons of Ziploc bags. You never know what you're going to need. I always carry these with me in the suitcase. 
And then finally, the last thing, I love this product. It's from Boone. It's a travel accessory case for bottles. Um, the reason this is necessary is when you're washing your baby's bottles, you do not want to put them on some like gross countertop in a hotel room or something like that where you don't know how it's clean. So I love this because it comes with a drying rack and bottle brushes and it's just like easy, ready to go. Highly recommend that product. Okay, oh, and the very last thing is toys. I do have a bunch of toys that I'll bring with, although really my baby would rather play with like an air vent and the stairs and anything else he can find that's dangerous. But I do bring a few from home just to like make him feel comfortable in a new environment. And my top one that I want to recommend is this spinning toy, which is a high chair toy. It's great for restaurants because it keeps him entertained while we're like waiting for food to come and stuff like that. So that is everything. Now it's time to speed it up and pack it in the suitcase. everything I'm gonna pack for my 10 month old. This pile is stuff that's gonna go on the airplane so I definitely will pack that nicely into his backpack but I still need a few more things for that. And then the suitcase is all done. My clothes will go on the other half. I like to fold my clothes the like Marie Kondo method but for my babies I don't really worry about it. I mean the stuff is so tiny. But yeah let me show you what I packed. Okay so that's the suitcase. It looks kind of full but um, the bottom half over here is like all diapers and then that's just clothes, blankets, toys, towel, sweater, and the toiletry bag. And that's really it. Okay, so that's everything I'm packing for my baby for our vacation. I do try to be a minimalist in the sense that I think over packing makes things more stressful. Um, most places where you're going, if you need something, you can buy it. But I really just try to bring the essentials and stick with that. And I think I've done a pretty good job for this trip, but we'll see. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Bye!